We all need to get around our timeline here at DaVinci Resolve, and today I've got 10 tips for you on getting around your timeline. Let's check it out. So tip number one is the L key, and that's gonna allow you to play forward in your timeline by just pressing the L key. Tip number two here is the K key. This is gonna stop your playback in the timeline. So you can use L to go forward and K to stop. Tip number three is the J key, and that's gonna allow you to play your timeline backwards. If I hit J, we play backwards. And again, hit K to stop. Tip number four here is to press the J key and the L key multiple times to play through your timeline a little bit faster. If I hit the L key twice, we got two times speed. We can see it right up here. Four times speed, eight times speed. If we wanna go backwards, press your J key multiple times and you can see we can increase the reverse speed if we want. Hit the K key to stop. Tip number five here is to hold down the K key and then press your J and L key and it's gonna move the playhead frame by frame in your timeline. Real good for getting precise and exact. So I like the J, K, and L keys because it just helps you move around really quickly in the timeline without having to click anything other than those three keys. Tip number six is one that I love and use all the time. It is Shift Z and it will zoom your entire timeline like this. I'm gonna hold the Shift, press letter Z, boom, I can see the entire timeline on my screen and now I can jump to wherever I wanna jump to. Another one I use all the time here is shift plus my middle mouse wheel. Now, if you don't have a middle mouse wheel, go get a mouse with a middle mouse wheel because it'll just make your job a lot easier here in DaVinci Resolve. But if you hold shift and middle mouse wheel up, you'll make your tracks bigger. Middle mouse wheel down, scroll down, you'll make your tracks smaller. Same for your audio. Works in audio or video, make your tracks bigger and smaller really fast and easy. The next one that I love and use all the time is the Alt or Option key on a Mac, plus again that middle scroll wheel here. That'll zoom your timeline horizontally. So you can zoom in, zoom out, move around, whatever you need to do, you can get there really fast using that shortcut. Now sometimes we've got a project that has a really long timeline and we wanna pan down the timeline. Now you could always come and grab this little slider here and do that, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna use a shortcut, a faster way to do that. You can hold your control key or your command key on a Mac. Again, that middle mouse wheel comes in handy, I told you. And in the timeline here, we can scroll our middle mouse wheel while holding our control or command key and it's gonna pan down the timeline or up the timeline depending which way you scroll your middle mouse wheel. The last and final tip here is just that middle mouse wheel. I use this all the time. If you hover over either your audio tracks or your video tracks and scroll that middle mouse wheel, it's just gonna move up and down your tracks for you. It just helps you navigate around a little bit faster here when you're in your timeline. I've got two bonus tips for you because as I was editing this video together, I realized there's a shortcut that I use all the time and I forgot to mention it in this video. Check this out. Zooming in and out on the timeline, I use command on my Mac or control if you're on a PC and the plus and minus keys and that's gonna zoom in and out of your timeline really fast and really easy. Can't believe I forgot to add that one in, but there's two bonus keyboard shortcuts for you. Command plus, command minus, or if you're on a PC, control plus or control minus. So there you have it, 10 tips on getting around your timeline here in DaVinci Resolve. Might take you a little bit to memorize them, but once you got it, you can move around really fast, just jump to different parts and pieces wherever you need to get to in your timeline. You got the knowledge, the tools, the shortcuts to get there super fast and super easy. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up, let me know what else you'd like to see. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.